Hello everyone, in our previous videos we have seen different isoenzymes and their diagnostic uses. In this video we will be talking about and we will be knowing about the enzymes uh, like uh, disease specific. Okay, so in which disease, which type of enzyme will be elevated and what is their diagnostic purpose. Okay, and those details will be talking here. Right, so especially first we will talk about enzymes which are acting as tumor markers tumor markers means in cancerous conditions okay the enzymes which are acting as tumor markers such so, suppose the enzyme we have discussed about acid phosphatase okay so that enzyme mainly identified in case of prostate cancer okay so there in prostate cancer acid phosphatase acting as a tumor marker right so enzymes which are elevated okay in those cancerous conditions okay which signal the presence of malignancy in the particular tissue Okay, in prostate tissue, this acid, acid phosphatase level increases means the condition is prostate cancer. Okay, so you see here in this uh, table, tumor markers. I mean, like not only I have just explained you one example that is acid phosphatase. Okay, and apart from that, there are some enzymes which are acting as tumor markers. Okay, that means they are association with the cancer. The identification of these enzymes in higher concentration. Uh, reveals you that that particular tissue is under cancerous condition okay so first exam uh, example or enzyme to be discussed that is aldolase in case of liver cancer this concentration will be higher in case of alkaline phosphatase bone cancers leukemias and sarcomas and in placental alkaline phosphatase is like ovarian cancer lung cancer gastrointestinal cancer and hodgkin's disease in these conditions this placental alkaline phosphatase will be elevated and amylase pancreatic cancer and creatine kinase in prostate again lung breast colon and ovarian cancers this creatine kinase also will be elevated gamma glutaryl transferase in liver uh, cancers like hepatitis lactate dehydrogenase in liver lymphomas and leukemias 5 prime nucleotide is in liver cancer conditions prostate specific antigen prostate cancer and prostate acid phosphatase that was we discussed in the beginning in prostate cancer so all these like aldolase alkaline phosphatase placental alkaline phosphatase amylase creatine kinase, gamma glutamyl transferase, lactate dehydrogenase, 5 prime nucleotidase, prostate specific antigen and acid phosphatase. All these are tumor markers of different tissues or organs. So next, organ specific or like tissue specific like uh, markers is myocardial infraction. That means the enzymes which are elevated in myocardial infraction or which are serving as cardiac markers. Okay. So, what are the enzymes which are like diagnostic purpose for myocardial infractions like creatine kinase? So, which is the form that in, um, in our previous videos we discussed about creatine kinase 2 which is elevated during myocardial infraction that is CK2 and lactate dehydrogenase LDH1 and sometimes LDH2 is also involved and serum aspartate aminotransferase is also like AST. This is also, this is also elevated during myocardial infraction. So non-enzyme like proteins which are include like myoglobin and cardiotropin nowadays so along with, I mean, along with LDH and, and creatine kinase LDH is almost ruled out nowadays so mainly they are depending on cardiac proponents if you go to the any clinical laboratory like biochemistry or diagnostic uh, test if you see okay the person who is undergoing myocardial infraction the test preferable that is cardiac proponent T and I so these are like uh, what to say uh, peptides okay which give accurate value for the myocardial infraction right uh, see so these are all the set of the enzymes if any person admitted for myocardial infraction so the physician will suggest for these parameters to be checked in the circulation one is ck2 as i mentioned abnormal activities like detectable hours 3 to 10 hours their levels will be elevated time for maximum rise 10 to 24 hours and time for return to normal 2 to 3 days Okay, and AST aspartate transaminase it will take uh, like uh, 6 to 12 hours you can detect these abnormal levels in the circulation and maximum elevated will be in 24 to 48 hours and the time to return for normal is like 4 to 6 days. LDH so specific LDH1 and 8 to 16 hours you can make out their elevated levels and 40 to 72 hours you can see the maximum peak and they return to normal levels in 7 to 12 days. Myoglobin they are non-protein uh, non-enzyme specific. Myoglobin 1 to 3 hours and 6 to 9 uh, hours is a peak and then one day they will be coming back 
to the normal troponin I and these are the peptides troponin I and troponin T both will be uh, seen in their elevation in 3 to 8 hours and 24 to 48 hours uh, 70 to 100 hours you can make out their maximum peak and it will take 5 to 10 days to return back to their normal levels. So like CK2, AST, LDH, myoglobin, troponin, troponin I, troponin I and cardiotroponins mainly to say cardiotroponin I, cardiotroponin T. Okay, so all these will be uh, analyzed when the person admitted to ICU for myocardial infarction. So in the uh, graphical representation, you can see here various enzymes assays on the time course of transit of acute myocardial infection. Like CK2, you see here within like 40 uh, hours, I mean like within like uh, uh, what to say, hours like enzyme rise, there is a maximum level within one day like uh, 10 to 16 hours, okay. And uh, if you take LDH, the peak will be reached in the 2 to 3 days and uh, coming to normal after 8 days. And you see here different colors, CK2 in red color, LDH is in purple and AST in green color. Their peak and their return to normal level. Okay. So like this, you can analyze these enzymes in myocardial infraction. So before like uh, after the onset of myocardial infraction, how they rise and uh, the peak when i mean how many hours it will take to reach the peak and how many days or hours it will take to coming to the normal so another uh, organ specific uh, like enzymes like liver diseases okay so the main enzyme to be as analyzed is uh, uh, alt alanine transaminase and second is ast ast is present in liver as well as in heart okay so sometimes apart from myocardial uh, diseases aspartate transaminase can be uh, used for diagnostic purpose of liver diseases okay so enzymes like mainly involving cholestasis okay cholestasis is like obstruction to the gallbladder okay so in that condition you can say uh, alkaline phosphatase 5 prime nucleotidase and gamma glutamyl transferase so with this you can make out there is some blockage in the uh, liver and uh, gallbladder opening so the contents are not coming out of the liver Right, so in that condition, alkaline phosphatase, prime prime nucleotides, and gamma glutamyl transferase will be elevated. So, for pancreatic other organ that is pancreas health, to check what are the enzymes to be needed, that is amylase and uh, urine amylase and lipase. Generally, am urine amylase will not be there in the urine. So, if the presence of amylase indicates higher concentrations, these amylase will start appearing in the urine. So, with that, you can make out whether pancreas is normal or abnormal in function. Okay, lipase is also secreted from pancreas. So, with these levels, you can make out. Uh, the person is having pancreatitis or not. So the use of enzymes in uh, laboratory investigations like enzyme based disease. Okay. So if you go to the back end laboratory in the hospital. Okay. There are routine investigations has been done. Okay. So in that most of the tests are like enzyme based disease. Like if you take glucose like glucose oxidase peroxidase method, GOD POD method, hexokinase method. Right. Any parameter all are like enzyme based disease. Okay, so enzymes can be used as analytical, uh, analytical laboratory reagents. Okay, so there are some enzyme reagents like okay and which investigations you are supposed to be add like suppose like alcohol abuse and all you can make use of alcohol dehydrogenase. Okay, this is an enzyme for identification of ethanol and lactate dehydrogenase for lactate estimation and glucose oxidase peroxidase for glucose estimation, hexokinase and glucose 6 phosphate for creatine kinase, uricase for uric acid, urease for urea cholesterol oxidase and peroxidase for cholesterol and lipase glycerol and kinase glycerol phosphate dehydrogenase for triacylglycerol so these are all the these are all the uh, enzyme based laboratory investigations okay so without these enzymes these investigations cannot be done so coming to the therapeutic uses like so far we have seen the diagnostic uses okay and uh, laboratory analysis uses of enzymes so there are some enzymes which are used for therapeutic uses so in competitive inhibition we have discussed allopurinol it's a drug in treatment of gout so what it will do instead of converting xanthic xanthine to uric acid it will be converted to alloxanthine and excreted in the urine and there is no uric acid formation so gout will, will be ruled out okay so like that there are other similar type of enzymes not similar there are other enzymes which will be used as uh, in uh, treatment of particular diseases so here in this table we can make out you can see here enzymes and then uses asparaginase is the enzyme which can be used in treatment of leukemia chymotrypsin for inflammation and edema collagenase for skin ulcers fibrinolysin for blood clot uh, removal 
and glutaminase for leukemia, hyaluronase for heart attacks and lysozyme for antibiotic activity, rhodonase is for cyanide poisoning, ribonuclease for antiviral drug and beta-lactamase for penicillin allergy, streptokinase is blood clot removal again, and trypsin is to dissolve the blood clot again, uricase is for grout treatment, urokinase is for blood clot removal. So all these enzymes have therapeutic activity. Okay, so enzymes are very very crucial not only for diagnosis, not only for prognosis, okay, and also for laboratory analysis as well as for therapeutic functioning. So that's all about uh, therapeutic and diagnostic laboratory uses of enzymes. Thanks for listening. Thank you.